Hello everyone, Professor Prophet coming to you from Craps University. Today we're going to do session four of our 10K challenge where we try to win $10,000 in one month. We'll have 31 sessions to do it. Through three sessions we're at almost $1,100. So we'll continue on tonight and see if we can build on that and get a little closer to our goal. We're going to start out with a $1,500 uh, bankroll. We've got 1000 in the black. $100 chips, $400 in the green, $25 chips, $80 in the Redbirds, the $5 chips, and then finally we have $20 in the $1 gray chips. I'm liking these new chips we've got. Like I said, we picked these up at an auction for 20 bucks last week. And I think they show up a little better than the solid ones did and they're a little easier to follow the chips around the board. Okay, we're going to be uh, doing some controlled throwing today. The 6554 set is what we'll be looking for. 6-5 uh, on the left die, 5-4 on the right. Do we use a three finger overhand grip? and just a slight pendulum swing and a nice soft toss and we're hoping to have those dice land near the wall and stay close together just kind of kiss the wall if you will so let's get started twenty five dollar pass line bet is down and we're going to walk back to our throwing station we'll be throwing from stick right one we're throwing left handed so we'll be to the right of the dealer uh, first throw is an easy six, six or a five one six. So that will be our number. And we're going to start off with two units on each number. And we'll pick the six up behind the pass line, of course. So we we'll have a little over three hundred dollars at risk on the come out on the first roll. And as we've said in previous episodes, uh, in this system, one thing you do not want to do is roll that big, big red on the first roll where the board is fully populated. So let's set these dice, 6, 5, and 5, 4. Get them gripped. And walk back to the throwing station. You can tell we split the uh, 6 and the 8 where the chips are apart a little bit, so we'll have a little room to throw, a little alley if you will. A 3, 6, 9, center field 9. So that's a $70 winner there. So we'll stack that and rack it. And as we do with our system when we have a score hit, which the 9 certainly was, we will pick up the outside numbers, the feathers to the edge, which in this case the 4 and the 10. And we'll put those in the rack and take away any chance the casino has of getting that money away from us at this level. Okay, we've got the dice in hand. Let's toss them again. Okay, there's yo 11. That's a horn number. And also on our system when we see horn numbers, which are the 2, 3, 11, and the 12, when we see horn numbers, we also pick up uh, a couple of our bets. The outside numbers here are the 5 and the 9. And it's my experience when you start seeing horn numbers, the 7 is usually not too far behind. So we get all the liability we can off of the board, and that leaves the 6 and the 8. Let's see if we can hit one of those two numbers and complete this level. A okay, 325. That's no field 5. So we'll set these things and throw them again, see if we can hit that 6 or 8 we're looking for. Dice in hand. Throwing left handed. And that was a poor throw there. Good result. Uh, easy 8, 2, 6. So that'll pay 70. And we'll put out 75 and give them 5 back. 
put that die on the on the right hand side roll all the way down to the bottom of the screen and that means we hit the wall a little hard we need to take off take a little of the pace away in our next throw as we try to find our rhythm here at this first level so that completes our $64 level our two unit level so we'll reduce down to one unit now 32 across and we will repopulate the board and get our dice set and again we got a fully populated board so we don't want to see big red show up here walk back to the throwing station nice easy toss take a little of the pace away this time and those hit again pretty hard and separated so that's not what we're looking for ever the hard four is a good hit for us so we will buy that four and uh, get paid at two to one so that's fifty dollars pay the vig on that put that in the casino coffers and then we will pick up the four and the ten on the score hit and rack that and it's always nice to get off to a good start the dice are set let's walk back to our throwing station see if we can keep this going looking for a five through nine here there's a hard eight so that's another winner thirty five dollars score hit so we'll rack that up and we'll pick up the two outside numbers on the score hit in this case the five and the nine and we'll put that in our rack which is filling up quickly we like that and once again that just leaves the six and the eight at this level and we'll try to hit one of those before Chuck Norris shows up because as you know when Chuck Norris shows up there are no survivors okay there's a six four easy ten so pay the field unfortunately we don't have anything in the field so let's set them and toss them again looking for a six or an eight here we go okay there's Chuck Norris five two no survivors here everything goes away and we will lose let's see seventy five eighty dollars on that throw so that one stings a little bit and we'll put that in the casino coffers <clears throat> excuse me get out another $25 pass line bet get the dice set to 6554 and here's the come out roll okay 64 easy 10 so 10 is going to be our number and we'll come back again with two units on each number and get the board populated that's 50 100 150 200 250 300 plus pass lines 325 335 and 345 as we put the hats on the six and eight so if we happen to seven out here it'd be a 345 dollar hit which is the reason we want to be sure that does not happen on our first row we don't want any one and dones when we have a fully populated board so we'll toss this one and get those two outside numbers down whether we hit a number a score hit or a horn number so here we go okay five three easy eight so that'll pay us seventy dollars And that'll also get a hundred dollars out of harm's way as we take down the ten and the four. So we go from three forty-five of liability to two forty-five of liability, and we've got seventy dollars in the coffer. So really, even if we if we lost on this roll, we'd lose one hundred and seventy-five dollars. So we 
cut our liability in half with just one score hit. And let's see if we can hit another one now. 6554, five, left handed toss. Okay, there's the nine. That's another score hit. That's another $70. So we'll play 75 for five. Like that trade. We'll rack that up. So that's $140 in wins now. And we've got 120 on the six and eight and 25. So 145 at risk. So two score hits and basically the liability is gone. If we seven out here, we'll lose $5 this round. And if we hit it, we'll have a good round and be a big winner. So looking for a six or an eight here. A 10 would also be a score would be a score hit as we'd win the $25 pass line bet. And there's the five and the two, and we are all through. So two score hits, $5 loss. Could have been better if we'd picked up that last number, that last score hit, and completed that level. But we came up a little short, so we lose $5 on that shooter. And we'll move on to the next one. $25 pass line bet. Get our dice set. 10K challenge, trying to get to $10,000 in 31 sessions. This is session four. There's the easy eight, so eight will be our number. And grab some greenies here. And once again, we're going to come back with two units. So that's $200, 250 300 325 with the pass line bet already out there. And we'll put a hat on the six. So that's $335 at risk on this one. We'll move everything down to the bottom of the screen. As you can see, there, our numbers are up near the wall and our receiving station, so we have to move those chips down out of the way. And move that puck over just a little bit and give us a little alley to throw here. Dice are in hand. And there's an easy six, a four two. So we like that. That's a $70 payout for us. So we'll do the 75 for, for five. And we'll stack those greenies up and rack them. Pick up the 4 and the 10 on the score hit. That gets us down to $235 in liability. $70 or 1 already, so $165 that we could still lose on this round. So let's see if we can throw one more score hit. Dice are away. There's an easy 10 with 10 has been picked up, so no score hit there. So we'll pick them up and get them set and try that again. Get that $5 change out of the way. Forgot about that. If you like what you're seeing here, we we'll hope that you'll hit that thumbs up button for us and also subscribe to the channel. If we can get up to 1,000 subscribers, we can start doing these live and a little more interaction would make it more fun. So dice are in hand. Tosses away. And there's a 639 center field nine, so that's another $70 winner. So that gives us $140 and wins this at this level. And we'll rack that up. We'll pick up the five and the nine. So $140 in wins, and we have 75 and 60, $135 in liability. So we have won $5 regardless of what happens the rest of the way at the $64 across level. Not the 64 across level, the two unit level, excuse me. That's three, 335 across on this one. Okay, and there's the 6-2, the easy eight. So that's a winner eight. That'll complete this level. That's $25 up front on the pass line and three to two behind. So that's 75 behind, 70 behind. So 
So we'll pick up the puck. Get the dice set on the come out roll. So that was a good round for us. Had three score hits, so we're going to stop here and kind of see where we are after that. Our goal per session is around $325 profit, and that will keep us on pace for $10,000 in a month. So let's count this out and see where we are. There's 1000 in the blacks. We started out with 1500 so we're looking to get to at least 1825 there's 400. There's 500 in the greenies, so that's 1,500. Everything else will be profit, so that's 100, 200, 250, 75, 300. So that's 300 dollars profit. If we got 25 more, we're there. like we do. Count up the ones here, see where we are. 15, 15 so. it's 19 more, so that's our profit here, 300, 10, 20, 35, 40, 45, 50, so that's 350 dollars profit. And like four more, so 354 dollars in profit. And that meets our goal, so we will call that a session. And we'll take our profits in session four. And that will get us up over $1,400. We're right around $1,450. So uh, that was a pretty good session. Didn't take too long to meet our goal. And part of the discipline of being a winning craps player is once you hit your win limit or your loss limit, your stop loss limit, uh, pick your chips up, color them up, walk over to the cashier cage and get your cash and take a break, go home, have lunch, have dinner, go play some nickel video poker for a few minutes, whatever you want to do. But you've met your goal, so be disciplined and walk away. So this is Professor Profit. We do wish you luck if you hit those casinos this week, and we hope that all your roles are winners. We hope you'll subscribe to the channel if you've liked this and give us a thumbs up. Professor Prophet, we'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.